Hi, I'm Ash. Today we'll be making... Don't need it. This is rhythm. Skip straight to the... We have a kick and snare that looks like this. So that sounds like... That's a basic rhythm beat. But if you want to give it a little spice, we add a clap right on top of the snare and we move it back a few clicks, a few ticks. What are those called? So that you get... If you want to hear that clap just a little bit before that snare and that's what gives it the true rhythm power. And then some hats to finish the beat off. <laughs> beat off. For the bass, this is what we're making. And now this is all done using either stock or free plugins. And the free plugin we'll be talking about today is Vitals. Yeah, you're welcome. No samples, no presets. This is all done in Vital and with OTT. So what's Vital? It's basically free Serum, but it's got a lot of cool features that Serum doesn't have. For example, two filters. So you can have a lot of different layers to your bass. This sound is it's essentially frequency modulated or FM sine wave. It's just a great starter rhythm bass. And you can play around with the tempo of your LFOs to get different rhythms. This is the rhythm I came up with. Because I can't be bothered to do quarter notes. Rhythm believe this is not real rhythm, it's gotta be the seesaw we want. Shush. Our plan is to add melodic stuff to this. So adding melodic stuff tends to work a lot better when you've got a little bit different rhythm. So I'd say this is closer to bro step than rhythm, but you know, plus if you wanna play around with this specific preset, you can grab that free from my Discord. If you wanna see my thought process behind making basses like this, a little sound design mini course, that's available on my Patreon. So you join, check it out, get some awesome goodies. Now to turn this into melodic, rhythm we've got to add some just like future bass or other melodic genres the right chord progression can carry you through the entire song so the chord progression i came up with is we're in the key of f minor and this is just put onto a super saw synth this is done in serum but you can totally do this in Vital, or you can do it in Operator. It's just a super saw. Look, it's a saw, detuned, 10 unison, a little bit of a filter on it, maybe a bit of effects, but that's it. You can do this with stock plugins. You can do this with any synth. Key is just a super saw, but you wanna make sure you get this chord progression right. And you wanna focus on this melodic songwriting aspect of it. Bro, well, why didn't you talk about the bass? You're talking about chords. Bro, we're doing melodic rhythm. It's really easy for us to switch our brains into sound engineer mode, mixer mode. But you gotta remember, most people, AKA your potential fans, aren't gonna be obsessing over the same tiny details that we obsess over. Gene. <laughs> what? Stop. They're gonna be paying attention to stuff like melody, instrumentation, vocals, the stuff that is up front. Especially with melodic rhythm, they'll be focused in on how the melodies like uplift them or make them feel some type of way. And even this chord progression is just two chords, F minor and C sharp major, and then I just have a little transitionary C minor chord to go from F to C a little smoother. So it's not even a progression, it's just two chords. But that's what works. This is why a lot of artists for this genre have been blending elements of feature bass with rhythm. And even I tried that back in like 2018. My thing is always trying to combine the heavy with the melodic, cause like that's even the music I listened to growing up. That's all I listened to. Trying to do it in this genre of music is something that's like really close and dear to my heart. If you spend time on this and get something that works, then you'll find that your melodic rhythm songs are just gonna be that much more memorable. The big difference between this and future bass is the combination of sound. Combining heavy bass with the beautiful chords and just making a big mishmash. That's right, no more one note madness. Oh, this is a warm take. I guess uh, this year forcing the rhythm kids inside means they need actual melodies because y'all can't be boofing at Lost Lands anymore. We got chords now, we got progressions. How do we combine this with the bass? 
we're gonna add the magic that is vocoder. Ba-bam, ba-bam, this is what it'll sound like now. I know you can also use resonators, but I can't figure out how they work. So if you know how to do that, please comment below. Uh, my little tiny producer brain can't figure it out. Now, just like in the Skrillex vocal chop video, we're gonna use the vocoder. But instead of running it through vocals, I'm gonna run it through this bass. So the best way to do that, we make the chord channel with the super saw, adding an arpeggiator, setting it to chord trigger mode, and setting the rate to match the same rate of what Vital is doing. So all of our rhythms are matching. We're not getting conflicting stuff. It's gonna sound like this. Now don't worry if it's not matching exactly with, with the MIDI because this is gonna be turned off and we'll be going through the chord. So now we're just gonna deactivate this track, pull the volume down, rename it Carrier, then on the bass, add our vocoder in, set it to external, pull your audio from Carrier. So what's happening? These chords now are gonna be running through the vocoder. And then the vocoder is gonna be combining those chords with the actual bass sound. So that's gonna sound like this. Now there's a lot of knobs and stuff to experiment with. For this specific song, these are the settings that I use. And I like to turn on enhance. Can you enhance it? Can we enhance it? Enhance it. Or to switch the bands up to 40. That gives you a lot of that resonance and harmonics. I turn it from precise to retro because that gives a bit more high end. And I like that high end, especially for melodic rhythm. Fast attack with a slow release. And so the chords linger a bit longer. Linger longer. And my rhythms are all matching up. Very nice, very good. So if you have any more questions about your tunes or how to like get more in depth into this stuff, I also go live every Monday on Twitch where I review your songs, I answer your questions. It's a good time, come hang out. Now we wanna also combine the two sounds together. And I used to do that with the dry wet knob here. But this cool trick from Kerr Mode, you can do control G to put it into a group. Click this little button here and you'll open up your chain rack. And then what we're gonna do is parallel process it. So you right click, create chain. And what that does is it doubles your synth without having to make another audio track. Wow, amazing. Gives you two versions, one with the vocoder and one without. And this way you can add processing to each individual one and then use these little volume sliders to mix the two signals together much better than this dry wet's ever gonna do. Remember when you're processing, we are not mixing or engineering. We're designing, sound designing, okay? We're processing it so the listener will hear it and go, whoa, cool robot noises. So I put a little bit of reverb, I took out a bunch of the lows from the actual bass itself. I side-chained. Finally, don't forget our sub bass. Just copy our MIDI over down, control click, put a bit of side-chain on there, and I also added an arpeggiator onto the sub bass to match the rhythm. For just a little bit of the final touches, add impacts. And also, if you cut off certain sections of the chord underneath the bass, that will mute the vocoder and have the sounds kind of swap between one another. So you get cool effects like this. I could listen to that. It's swapping between the two sounds so you can make the drop have a bit more variation and make it more interesting. It's really cool for fills. And you can also even add a lead on the B section. This one's also made in Vital. And if you want a bunch of Vital presets, those are also available on Patreon. Big shout out to the true homies of Patreon. Y'all are leveling up. I see you getting better. So I mean, yeah, the bonuses are pretty cool. But more importantly, you're helping out this channel. You let me keep doing this. So thank you. Y'all are awesome. But before I go, I wanna show you, there's another way. Listen to this. The crazy thing about this is I made this with my voice. I can make my voice go from this to this. That's coming in part two. You hit that like, 
hit subscribe so you don't miss it. Follow me on all my socials. Follow me on Twitch. I see your DMs. That's it. Hope you learned something. So, see you next time.